all my professional life I've, I've dreamt of making this trip. It's dry. It is extremely dry. This is probably the most barren landscape that I've ever seen. Hello! Trying to find the remote sect of the Himba, their hunter-gatherers. We've got a four-day journey ahead of us over the sand dunes, over the mountains. We're not sure whether the tracks are going to be there. We're not even sure what we're going to find. And hopefully we're going to find some of the Himba up in these mountains. It is dangerous. We're going to a part in Namibia on the Angolan border where people don't go. There is nobody there. So if we get bitten by a snake or one breaks a leg, uh, yeah, we're going to be in deep shit. There's definitely signs of the Himba here. As you can see behind me is a temporary Himba dwelling. This is probably used when they're moving their cattle. I think this is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. It's where it's just pumping out of every flipping pore that I've got. You know, when you add it all together, I can't put enough in for what's coming out. Especially climbing these hills. It's hell, absolute hell. I'm not sure how much further we can go. It's amazing, you come out here in the middle of nowhere and we're basically in a museum right now. It's an art museum. Each rock has its own petroglyph. It's strange, it's almost like this is where we all came from. This is it, these are our roots. These are our roots. This is red gold for the Himba. You can make a killing with this stuff. Everybody uses it, everybody needs it, and I'm covered in this stuff. Like so many other countries I've visited in Africa, I worry about Namibia. Although there have been great efforts to embrace conservation, there's still too much illegal hunting, and on top of that, overgrazing. This leads to real pressure on what is already a fragile environment. What's needed is sound leadership and management and a willingness of the people to embrace those ideals which are going to lead this nation into a prosperous future. Why, but every time Alex and I can set off in search of authentic fast culture, it always ends up with us drinking cider in the middle of the day. But you know, I'm not complaining, so here's to that. Thank you, brother. You're welcome, my 